Hello everybody, it's that time again. Yep, it's drama time. Today's video is on something that I find incredibly, incredibly disrespectful. Farah Abraham from Teen Mum has a YouTube channel where she uploads vlogs of her and her now 10 year old daughter's life, Sophia. She is a problematic person anyway, but the last few videos of her have been more and more shocking. She uploaded her and Sophia running around in bikinis at the Eiffel Tower. She also has just got Sophia, who is still only 10 by the way, her own YouTube channel where she promotes merch and shows herself doing online school because she does not go to public school. I'm pretty sure, well I thought anyway, kids weren't allowed YouTube channels. Anyway, she uploaded a video of her and Sophia visiting the One World Trade Centre. And she did upload this on the 18 year anniversary of 9-11, which is just tacky and it's even worse when she gets the date wrong at one point, calling it 7-11. Before entering the building, she says how it's good to have a memorial for loved ones and she then says, check out my other videos on loss and depression. It's going to be September 11th in honor of the Freedom Towers and the Observatory Dock and everything of 7-11. Uh, we are going to do this. Wow, look at this, guys. Going into the sky. So, we I think this is gorgeous, beautiful, and in memory of a lot of loved ones that a lot of others lost. I remember being in fifth grade when September 11th attacks happened. Sophia was not born yet, so I think it's really important that Sophia learns about it. And here we go. <laughs> it's pretty gorgeous here. It's such a great day. Buildings are so beautiful. I kind of wanted to make this video while I'm here at the Freedom Tower for September 11th. However, we all deal with loss. Um, I encourage you guys to check out my loss videos um, for bereavement, depression. But it's good to have a memorial for those. It's great to visit our loved ones and. I know, unbelievable, right? How insensitive do you have to be? And another thing that I found disrespectful is that she actually filmed pretty much all of it. She showed the animations, the views, and it actually says on their website that you are not allowed to film without special permission. And even then, you definitely cannot upload it to YouTube and make money off of it, which it did because at one point it did have ads running. Now I've noticed this morning that they are no longer there on it, but still. Understandably, people in the comments were not happy. One wrote, In honour of all the brave souls that died and all the victims, I will go ahead and click dislike and hope to God this gets demonetised because you should not be pro profiting from this tragedy. Another wrote, Really hope YouTube removes this video and suspends this channel. Never seen such disrespectful display my entire life. And another said, In observatory and everything of 7-Eleven, which is an actual quote from what Farah said in the video. Farah did say that this was going to be educational for Sophia, and Sophia actually did ask about school and said, How come she's not doing tests like all of her friends at public schools? And... Farah just brushed it off saying parents can choose for their kids to do tests and that she was getting real world education. And the last comment said, can this be reported somehow? She is not supposed to video there and she did go with a tour group that invited her but I still don't think they would want so much of the exhibit shown and to have the video monetized. I just could not believe my eyes when I saw this. It's so incredibly tone deaf to upload this anyway, but then to get the date wrong, to monetize it, and to say stuff like, check out my videos on loss, it just leaves a really, really sour taste in my mouth. What do you guys think? Do you think they should take the video down? Let me know in the comments section below. And can I offer my deepest, deepest condolences to the families, friends, and colleagues of the victims of this absolute tragedy? They will not be forgotten. It is so, so important to remember them and educate people so that this can never happen again. See you next time.